again. Welcome to Reina Clothier. My name is Ryan Nico Reina. So today we'll be discussing the uh, the topic of socks and different um, categories or different suggestions I would give and um, regarding each um, occasion. So the first off, I always like to start off with um, the most common sock that you wear with your dress shoe or with your dress clothes. So. Uh, for me personally, <laughs> I don't, the classic, you know, solid, um, navy blue or solid black or solid gray. I like that, but I haven't worn those type of socks or those design of socks, um, since at least four years from now, uh, four years ago. So it is kind of, it is been a while. <laughs> so I like to stick out a little bit, nothing crazy. So I have different layers of um, sticking out when, when it comes to socks. So I always like to keep it classic, but I take it a step further. So with my, if you have, you know, want to keep it very professional and very and straight to the point. But again, you know, every day you're on as part of my philosophy. Every day you might meet a potential client. Every day you might, um, whatever field you're in, you're you're always on. You're always um, prepared to be um, to be judged because so many people judge you, especially in the financial world. They're giving you their money, so they're definitely going to judge you. Uh, so stick out a little bit, but still a from probably five or six feet away they still look almost like a solid look so they're still professional very um straight to the point but it does have some design so this is ones i wear if i want to have a you know a a conservative look but still a professional look as well kind of sticks out a little bit and again when you stick out with your socks think about this it's those little details like your watch, um, you know, if you have any type of rings, obviously I have my wedding ring, um, but for people who want to stick out a little bit more, but still very subtle, you have your lapel button boutonniere that you can put on, um, if you have a lapel pin as well, but the socks fall in that category, um, along with your dress shoes, so have a good pair of dress shoes, and from here you can really stick out but still stay professional and that's what I like I, I like that type of uh, representation that I give so this is a good pair of socks that I buy um, just to stick out a little bit but it's still it's a very simple design but it's on a solid black sock so I really like that and um, that design next one is is this one so gray again very similar to that one, but if I remember correctly, I bought these in a pair. So if you notice, design is very simple. But again, it's on a solid um, sock design with that little small little cross pattern. I like this. Again, I'll wear this with my uh, gray suit here. I would wear it um, with my subtle black stripe suit. I would wear it with a any design or any occasion that I want to keep it professional. Um, if you ever have an interview, if you ever have something that is, you know, a first timer with a individual on a business purpose, wear this again is better than just a solid sock and it'll still give that or portray that type of professionalism as well. Next one I would, this is where I'm, I really like to be creative. But again, nothing flamboyant. I haven't done the pink sock yet. <laughs> uh, I've I done uh, like a lavender one, but I mm, took that out of commission essentially. So um, I just kind of learned a little bit more of my my taste, my style. And it goes along with your, um, your kind of staying professional, but different la layers of being creative and so this is one that I like to wear so a navy blue on the very bottom here but you can basically see it from here on up and I like this again the check mark or the cross mark whatever you call it um, it's on a sal solid um, pattern with a with the sock and 
I just really like it. It sticks out, but is the design or the pattern is very, very um, basic. So I know it sticks out, but it's very nice. You can see the solid navy as well on the bottoms, and then your blue, red, um, and then more of a white cross dotted line on each one. So I really like this style. And again, you can pair this with your suits, any type of suits, because again, it's a navy. Navy really can go with anything. Next one is a navy polka dot. So again, you'll probably see it from here on up as far as putting it on, um, on your feet here. So you can kind of see here, I like it again, from far away, you can barely see it, but if you get close, if you talk with anyone, um, as far as getting close with them, it, it's a great design. Again, nothing flamboyant, but it still gives a uh, portrayal that you know what you're doing, even to the smallest details of dressing up professionally. So that is the design, or that is the rep representation that I want. And then you can get a little more curious with these as well. I like these because they're a little longer. So sometimes they f come down essentially from your um, from your calf, but this goes past the calf, essentially right underneath your the inside of your knee. So I really like this as well. I feel like it's very con <laughs> constructive. Um, so it's it's just it's too much, I would say, but. I do like that I never have to worry about it falling down from the calf. Um, so it stays there. But as far as the design, I really, really like this design. Again, it's it's more of a solid blue or navy theme. And then you just have a simple cross of your white and your gray um, lines. So I really like this as well. Again, something different, but it's still on a professional stance um, and then i have two other ones i used a uh, like a lavender one time with this these pairs and then there was a pink one that came with it as well and i just i kept it for my kids to play <laughs> because i don't like to i don't know why uh something about pink i just believe they're just for women <laughs> so uh just a little bit different if you notice i i get close with this tie if you get closer this is actually a pinkish color i would say so with ties i i might um but when it comes to socks not really um and when it comes to ties i this might be the pinkest one i have i remember when i was what just started with my um, with my financial background or from financial career as a um, financial advisor, and I want to stick out a little bit, so I did buy a pink tie. So I wore ties before. If you see the one on the mannequin, it is more of a uh, a lavender color. So I've experienced with those, but you learn to grow into your style. And like I said, not my taste. <laughs> Um, and then with these, these are a little bit different. It's a very light blue. Um, and then it has that solid blue, but you or the navy, but you won't see that um, when you have your trousers on. But um, with this, it's a little bit different. Um, it has more of a polka dot feel. So you're kind of going away from the professionalism and more of a statement um, feel. So I like to use these sometimes, um, especially when... You, know, you are used to seeing your clients more and more and you know they're a repeat client you just want to kind of show your style with them um, and they will appreciate it as well and a lot of times I get compliments with these the other ones I don't get compliments but it's under under the rug if you will they will judge me but in a very professional and a good way this one they might even tell me hey these are kind of neat um, so again these are to make a statement essentially and then you have these. So same thing, but <laughs> less flamboyant, but a light kind of a sky blue will stick out if you have um, charcoal trousers or if you're wearing a dark gray suit or a navy suit. So these will stick out. But again, I personally like to stick with kind of that basic professional look um, along with sticking out a little bit so this is a good design to have um i really like all these socks 
that I have. Again, I think, what, uh, five or six of them that I use, and then um, I rotate them around, of course. And then you have your basic blacks, your basic navy socks, your basic, um, was it gray socks as well? Um, again, I don't really have a lot of basic black socks, um, just because it's just too plain, essentially. So um, I, I do have some dark gray socks, solid socks that I use every once in a while. But again, I'm growing into my style. If I have to wear them that day, if I don't have any other socks washed and clean, I might throw them on. Um, but those are my go-to socks that I have. And then as far as uh, casual wear, well, before I go into casual wear socks, um, just to end with the professional side of it, I would suggest again if you have a tap um, cap toe dress shoe um, you may or may not know this but never essentially use a square uh, toe shoes for dress shoes those are just um, it was a fad and it just shows that you don't have no education when it comes to um, dressing up for with your dress shoes so uh, I would steer clear more of like your curve you're not too pointy but um, you know medium sized point on your um, cap toe shoes and again you can be creative with so many different types of dress shoes and um, I have a video about the different types of dress shoes as well like your oxfords and um, your monk style um, and shoes as well the monk buckles um so those are different options but again you have a, a range a good range of nice dress shoes um minus that idea of the square toe <laughs> take that out of your uh routine of buying dress shoes and from there like i said that is really with any nice dress shoe medium point um dress shoe of your toe side or your toe part that is a great shoe to wear uh, essentially a dress shoes and of course you can pair it with any of those type of socks depending on your occasion that you want or that representation that you want to portray so going to dress or from dress shoes to casual shoes um so not really a, a tennis shoe guy other than using them or apart from using them inside the gym or running or working out I don't know. To me, literally, if you're playing tennis, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, if you're any type of sneakers or tennis shoes, I like to keep them from those, those main um, events. You're in the gym, you're working out outside the gym, whether inside or outside, or you're running, essentially. Um, those are the occasions I'll wear tennis shoes. And I would wear these type of socks. So they're at your ankles, but it's very funny. Uh, I my I have a very small shoe <laughs> size, so I have to uh, the socks that fit me great are in your uh, your boy section. So not your kids section, but your boy section. Um, these are. I don't know what size they are, but these work great. They're tight on my foot. Of course, they're stretchy, so they feel good. But where they lay on my ankle, um, perfect size. I notice, you know, if um, for average size man, it will be perfect for your uh, your men's size socks that has a short uh, ankle here size or style. That would work great, but I've always noticed whenever I wore those, they bunched up at the heel, and they're just too much. Sometimes they even show on the top of your shoes. So these work great. Um, again, just grow in your style, learn about more. Um, obviously, you won't see none of this. You'll just see mostly all of the white part of it. So it's a nice, clean look and kind of neat. So And then you – I love these. Again, they have – I think you would call them sleeves or I forgot what they're called, but um, I think sleeves, if I remember correctly, um, toe sleeves, but they're really neat. They, they're just, they're made to go over just the very top part of your toe, maybe a little bit more. 
and then the heel as well. So these were great when you don't want any socks to be shown. Um, and I really enjoy it because this is what I normally wear with any type of nice navy shorts. Uh, I wear this, um, especially with shorts, and in fact only with shorts, uh, I wear this. And I would wear it with these sh uh, shoes. Got to clean them. <laughs> but if you notice, I love wearing them. I wear these almost every day whenever I wear shorts um, or every time whenever I wear shorts. And again, you don't see the sock, so it looks like you have no socks on when you wear these. And it's just a real nice look. You could wear it with essentially anything. I call these just a replacement of Sperry's. Uh, I personally, <laughs> uh, just because I have a business mindset, I don't, I can't convince myself to ever buy uh, $80 shoes. I just can't. So sorry, Michael Jordan. I love your Jordans. I would wear them anytime if anyone gifts them to me. <laughs> but any type of your tennis shoes, I'm cheap when it comes to that point. Uh, again, I that's my style. Don't wear it a lot, but when I do, I have literally the same Nikes that I wore or that I bought in 2013 and wore in 2021. I don't use it a lot. Maybe work out once or twice a week, but other than that, nothing. So I don't use it as like an everyday uh, style or fashion. So it's made for athletic time um so that's uh depending on how much time you use your day in athletics or training or exercising i use those um and a lot of times my old crocs that i have <laughs> i would use for running as well because it's easy slip-ons but whenever i play basketball or baseball or play with my kids outside I typically put on those Nikes, and those Nikes were just under 50 bucks. <laughs> so again, Sperry's, going back to Sperry's, to have a replacement of Sperry's, these were great. I bought nine, what, nine bucks for this. Um, it's fake on top. It's just almost like a plastic feel. I do not care. It's a nice look, and it looks presentable. And once I clean them a little bit more, they will be even more presentable. Um, but that tells you how much I use them and I enjoy wearing them with my shorts and even with socks, longer socks and with pants, jean pants, perfect style as well. Uh, with my jeans and I can get away with this style of shoe as well uh, with my liner uh, socks and where you don't see it so it looks like I'm not wearing any socks. This looks nice as well but again the other one is slip on and this one has laces so I feel like it's more for your jeans, but I've wore it before with my shorts, look great. And then again, with these jeans, um, with the jeans I can wear as well with these mostly, I wear them with jeans. And again, you can use those socks essentially the same, the same way. Um, you can be flamboyant, you could be more of a solid look. So it, it just all depends on your style that you like to wear. And that is it. That concludes my take on socks and the occasions for each sock. So uh, if you guys have time, definitely would appreciate it if you guys, uh, whether like, comment, or subscribe um, to my channel. I post twice weekly. And I look forward to meeting you if you have any uh, need for custom clothing for, uh, for men. So thank you very much and have a great day.